Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. All right, this is going to be kind of a, a little bit of a multi-part reading on uh, Donald Trump. Um, and it's going to kind of be in the same vein as the uh, Navalny reading I just put up on Tarot of the Seven Seas, which goes up at 10 o'clock Pacific time tonight. Where's my hat? Hold on for a second. And the hat's back off. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, this reading, I want to just do a quick follow-up on uh, my reading about Melania hitting the campaign trail. Because one thing occurred to me as, as I was reading the comments today, and that's um, Trump potentially saying Melania is going to be on the campaign trail without actually confirming it with Melania first. Just assuming that because he wants her to do that, that she is going to do it. So he starts telling everybody that she's going to do it so that she feels strong-armed into doing it. I want to see if that's a thing or not. Because my gut reaction is that's what he's doing. And the second thing I want to throw on Trump is that uh, Senator John Thune from South Dakota, he's the number two Republican in the Senate, is now endorsing Trump to be the party's nominee. And then lastly, I want to do a general energy reading around Trump, just like I did with Putin uh, in the Terror of the Seven Seas uh, video that's going up. So hit a variety of things as opposed to focusing on one subject, delving deep. We're going to hit three subjects, delving a little less deep. But come on down. Let's see. First off, <laughs> Trump and Melania. Now, Trump said Melania was going to... Uh, Hit the campaign trail more. Expect to see her more often. Um, has she agreed to that? Is he strong arming her into this, thinking that if he just makes the announcement, that she'll be forced to show up? <laughs> Four of coins. Um, trying to keep information tight, trying to keep things close, things you value together. I think he really wants her on there. He's feeling insecure. And he just feels like he has to pull out all the stops. This could also be her. Because she's a very private person. And the last thing she wants is to be out on the campaign trail. Is he strong arming her though? So actually I think this is her. I think this is her not wanting to do it. I don't want to move. My heart's not into it. And I don't like doing this. So why are you trying to force me to do this? What's crossing it? The Queen of Pentacles. But I... But... He's offering her money. He's offering things of value if she does it. So she's got a quandary. Is he strong arming it? I don't know. I'm getting her stress though. She doesn't want to do it. She absolutely doesn't want to do it. She's thinking about herself and Baron though. That's if Baron weren't in the picture, she the, the answer is no. Hell no. This is a nightmare for me. You got to be kidding me. But she's thinking about herself. She's thinking about Baron. Is she being strong-armed to it, though? Did she agree to it? Queen of Cups, she's keeping her emotions to herself. She's not, you know, She's been lying low. She hasn't been talking to anybody. She's doing what Melania does, and that's live Melania's life privately. Current situation is a lover's card. Um, I will just translate this to be that Trump wants to present to the world that their marriage is okay, and I honestly think it's anything but okay. Uh, Page of Swords. Is he forcing her to? If he is, it's a real rookie maneuver, and it may not be particularly effective. Or if she does, or this could be if she does go out, it is you know minimal efforts being put in. <sighs> Listen to be learned as a celebration. I think she gets her way. I don't think she's going to, either she's going to do minimal things or she's not going to do it at all. Uh, but she's trapped. What's the celebration card? Am I wrong on this? Um, I think she maybe agrees to do a little bit because she feels stuck in with this is he strong arming her i don't think he is uh my reaction was that yeah you know he's oh, she's gonna do this and she hadn't agreed to it um 
it could be that she has agreed to it because she's concerned about her her uh, her I'm saying a prenup because it's agreements afterwards. But yeah, her prenup, if you will, and the agreements that she's done. So I don't think it's a strong arm. I don't think he's, uh, um, you know, forcing her to do it. I think that she agreed to it and then he's the first to announce it. I'm sure she has regrets <laughs> about doing it, but she's probably trying to convince herself that, you know, just one last push. You only have to do a couple months of this and you'll be done type of thing but the thing is with trump you're never done just like russia with their spies you know never done you're you useful idiots are never you're never free of the web all right uh senator john thune uh gave his endorsement to former president trump uh he's been critical of trump in the past let's see um what i got here Okay, reading the rest of the article here. Basically, <clears throat> Thune has misgivings uh, from some in the party about how the president is going to impact the down-the-ballot races. Uh, general elections are won in the middle of the electorate, and that has shown repercussions for the Senate races. But so far, Trump's now gotten the endorsement of the second uh, Republican Senator Thune, who's an ally of Mitch McConnell, and Mitch McConnell... <clears throat> Donald Trump are not allies right now. Then John Barrasso of Wyoming, who's the third ranking member of the Senate GOP leadership, is also backing Trump. And then Senator John Corwin of uh, Texas, who's considered a, a future leader of the uh, Senate uh, and intends to stay out of contested primaries, back Trump after his New Hampshire victory. <clears throat> so it looks like he Trump is starting to consolidate power in the Senate. Guess it didn't work out the way Mitch McConnell thought it was going to work out, that if he, they didn't impeach and convict him, that Trump would just go away in 2021 and be politically irrelevant. You messed up. You done messed up, Mitch. Now you get to pay the price for that. What's the energy around John Thune and the McConnell, basically, faction of the Senate starting to back Trump as the potential GOP primary candidate? It's like the... It's like they're acknowledging that um, this seems to be inevitable. Wheel of Fortune. Yep, they're starting to... It's, this is the progression. They're starting to accept what they think is inevitable, that Trump is going to be their nominee and they need to get behind their candidate. Cross with the Seven of Wands. Um, fighting off challengers. I Let's see. And the Hierophant. Okay, um... I think the realization is that they know that Nikki Haley isn't going to get that nomination. Um, their concern, <clears throat> as I read in that article, what seems to be what this card's about is, fine, you know, Trump may be the nominee, but what's going to be the impact down the ballot for uh, Republicans? Are people going to vote Republican down the ballot or are they not going to? Is... Now, if Trump's on the ticket, is this going to impact the Republicans' ability to hold the Senate? And this is all about government. This is all about politics. This is not about what's good for America. This is about what's good for the Republican Party. So it's what they're looking at is how do they stay in power? Basically, how do they stay in power? Now, I'm not seeing... I think they've got legitimate concerns. They may not... They may stay in power themselves, but they may not be the majority in the Senate. But they themselves will still have their jobs. In the past is the Empress. Being in Congress has been very good to them. Having the power, uh, especially during the Trump years, they really got to push forward their agenda. I'm sure more than one person... Uh, made a little bit of money off of their positions and their committee assignments and stuff like that. And um, they did well under Trump. I don't... 
I don't see how you back him. You know you're going to an authoritarian government if he gets in there. You know it. All these senators know this. But they're going to back him anyways. They have no morals. They have no ethics. They have no spine. They're all just a bunch of spineless jellyfish. Current situation, they're so concerned about their own electability, their own positions. They don't care what's best for the United States. They really don't. By endorsing Trump, they know it's the exact opposite of what's best for the United States. But they're more concerned, it appears, with their own personal victories than they are with the country. Maybe they think he won't get elected, but the polling would indicate otherwise. Uh, but I don't know how accurate the polls are, but... <sighs> Agreements, contracts... I guess they'd rather be the lords of an authoritarian government than just Senate members, minority Senate members in a democratically elected government. This is all about power. It's all about power and control. They're willing to give, literally, they are willing to give up democracy so that they can stay in power and, and line their pockets, as it were. Yeah, really unfortunate. Lesson to be learned yet yeah, again. Um, it's about money. It's about self-enrichment. If, you know, were Trump to be elected, <clears throat> they would be the ruling class and the rest of folks would be peasants. They would be paupers. And they'd rather be in the ruling class. They'd rather be the new American oligarchs because they would, they would have theirs and who cares about these other people? You don't have to represent at that point. You dictate. Out comes the Queen of Swords. So they have a choice. They can stand up for the Constitution. They can stand up for the American people. They can honor their agreements with the uh, Constitution that they made to, uh, to protect the Constitution when they won their elections to represent the people in their uh, parties as the Wheel of Fortune would say when they won. Or they can forgo it and just go for power. But it's all about government and judgments coming for it. Um, that Queen of Swords just tells me that to them, this is the quote-unquote practical solution. You know? What's more important, me sacrificing my career like Liz Cheney and Adam Kissinger, or me, you know, supporting the Republican Party and backing Trump, even though I know that that'll be the end of democracy as we know it, but I'll still have a job, I'll still have wealth, I will still have power, I will still have influence, I will be among the American oligarchy in this. I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. Get out and vote. <laughs> get out and vote. Get out and vote. Get out and vote. Get like-minded family members and friends registered and get them out to vote. We need to buy ourselves uh, two years of time before the next elections in 2026. We need to secure the, the executive branch for four years and we need to secure the Senate and the House for at least the next two years to get uh, voting measures passed to uh, stop what's happening with uh, the Republican Party and try and level the, the uh, turn the voting field, playing field back to a level playing field where the Republican extremists have little power and the Republicans are forced to come back up with an agenda as opposed to running with an authoritarian cult of personality. All right, which leads us now to Trump. What is the energy around Donald Trump right now? Just like I did with Putin on that other reading, what is the energy with Donald Trump right now? Page of Wands. 
he wants to get out and spread his message. He's going to have about a month to do it because he's going to be in court after that. So he's got to do... He's got to do a lot in this next month or so before the court cases start. You have Super Tuesday and stuff like that coming up. So he's going to be out campaigning a lot, holding a lot of rallies, spread, spreading his message of love and inclusion. <laughs> Sorry, that was sarcasm uh, to his base here. He's got to he's got to get on with that. And that's what he plans on doing. Crossed with the Nine of Cups. He In his mind, he's got this race locked up. He's got this race locked up. Um, Supreme Court rulings on immunity notwithstanding. Uh, this could also be the court cases that he's going to be facing in a month's time in New York. But right now, he's got to get his message out. And his message is delusional. No, keep lying, keep obfuscating, keep telling folks what you want them to believe. And he's shown time and time again that the Republican Party will believe any nonsense that he says as long as he says it three times. Mm, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, but that's kind of the energy around him right now is going out, spreading his lies, you know, just making stuff up. And, you know, he's he feels like he's got this presidential nomination locked up. It's certainly not looking like Nikki Haley's presenting much of a threat. Um, I haven't heard Bo with the fifth columns uh uh, take on the 60-40 loss that she had in South Carolina. Um, I think it seems like she closed the gap a little bit on him in South Carolina. And uh, especially in a state where she, even though it's her home state, she's not popular there. And again, a lot of the Republicans that voted for Nikki Haley, like 40%, it didn't sound like they would support Trump. They were, it was basically a vote for Haley is a vote against Trump. And they're, they're, so it's almost like um, half of Nick, almost half of Nikki Haley's, 60% of the people that voted for Nikki Haley wanted Nikki Haley. Those other 40%, let's say they just didn't show up. You know, Trump wins by a whole lot more. He wins, you know, 75, 25, that type of, that type of ratio. But, there's a bunch of Republicans, there's a big tranche of them that will not vote for Trump as a candidate. I don't know how much of that 40% that voted for Nikki Haley, uh, which is probably, what, about 20% of the overall Republican vote, thereabouts, 15, 20%. Um, sounds like they wouldn't support Trump at all. Uh, so that just means that there, when the election comes, if Trump is the Republican candidate, He's not going to get 100% of the Republican vote. He's going to be losing 15% of the Republicans that would normally come out and vote. And that's a big chunk of people because they're not excited about him. They don't want him. What's up for Trump? Go out there campaigning, spreading lies, feeling like he's got this nomination locked up in the past. People are forgetting they are romanticizing the, the fantastic time under the Trump years. And they're forgetting all the drama and trauma that happened underneath there. And the media is not reminding them of this. They think, oh yeah, under Trump, we were, we were great again, remember? And don't you remember? We weren't great again. We were great before that. Whatever. They all have the big feels. He plays on their emotions all the time. And he's trying to remind them how wonderful everything was underneath them. But the problem is, you know, he can't use the stock market because it's higher under Biden. He can't use the economy because it's better under Biden. So he doesn't have a whole lot to his message other than border security. Uh, and there you go with your border security. So now he's going to start hammering on, you know, you got to protect your family. He's got to lock down the border. Everything's about locking down the border. The other thing he's got on his mind is all these <laughs> civil cases with the money he's got to come up with. And he's got to get elected because if he's not elected, he's going to prison and he knows it. So there, he's under a lot of stress as far as that goes. <sighs> Overarching energy is the magician. More lies, more illusions, just more bamboozling of people. In some ways, he's almost lying to himself to keep himself going. 
Um, but, and this could also be, uh, you know, again, Trump, Trump just making stuff up and not acknowledging what's happening in his life. I almost feel like, cause it's over his head here that his, his mind is going to start creating a new reality that only he's privy to. In other words, I see mental illness coming for him. Not that it hasn't already arrived, but it's, it's like he starts living in his own world and what he is telling his base is objectively wrong. And it's, it might start getting more coverage in the media. It's beyond calling his wife Mercedes and forgetting his children's names and thinking that Biden's about to start World War II and stuff like that. There might be even more stuff that comes out. And he might be going into crazy town. And leading to confusion. This could be that health event that folks start seeing. But he's going to start you know, lying to himself more or creating in us uh, in uh, stories about things that didn't happen. And it's going to be confusing people in mysterious and wild. And again, it's just, he's starting to go. It's just like, he's going off the deep end right when he thinks he's got this thing sewn up and he's got John Thune's uh, approval he, his mind starts, it's like it's spinning out. The outcome is the eight of coins. Um, coins are about health. This is not, at first thought was like, is he raising money? No, it's, it, the money is part of it. Now, how am I going to come up with all this money that, that's causing that stress right here? But it's like he's trying to hold on to his health, especially his mental health. And um, there's going to be, I I want to say he's going like to the doctor or he, he's got to work on his health. So, you know, I think something happens in this spot where maybe he has to finally go to a doctor to see what's going on with him. But he's... We're going to start seeing his downfall. I know that a lot of intuitives have been seeing that. Uh, uh, and... Uh, they see it happening right around the time of the eclipse. Now, this is the eclipse card also. This, So um, I think, again, right around that eclipse time, here he's going to crazy town. He's got, it's almost like, does he have a, a, a nervous breakdown? It could be like a breakdown. He could have like a nervous breakdown. Let's ask. What happens around the eclipse with Donald Trump and his mental health? How about that? I forgot. I keep forgetting that the, the moon card is also about the eclipse. It's eclipsing. The moon is eclipsing the sun, causing confusion. What happens around the eclipse in April in Trump's mental health? They're correlated. They, I, I, I get the feeling they're correlated, and I don't think it's because I want to feel. I want them to be correlated. I really do think like they, there's a correlation there. Okay, Trump's mental health around the eclipse. What's what's the connection here? Can you give us a little insight, please? All right, no cards are wanting to stay on the top here, so we just go within. I swear to God, if I get that dang page of pentacles, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> One scream avoided for the moment. What's going on? There's there's a health evaluation here. Um, some you now between the loss of the money. Yeah, you know, it, it's like it's almost like he's got there. It's his self worth is net, equal to his net worth. By that point, we'll know if he's been able to raise the money for the appeal. I'm curious. Okay, so. This could be money related. This could be uh, health related. There's, but there's like an evaluation going on. <sighs> Something progressive, degenerative is happening with his with his health. Yeah, and he's going he's going crazy. He it's like more and more he's leaving our reality and living in the reality that's in his head. 
he's going to be saying more and more crazy stuff. What's going on with that? The High Priestess. Mysteries and secrets. Truths revealed, if you ask. Um, it's that feminine wisdom, divine knowledge. I, I just think that stuff that he's done is coming out. And again, you got this Pearl of Wisdom, which again looks like a moon card. Something's in, impacting his memory or his choices. His, the wise choices that he makes, not saying he makes wise choices, but the wisdom of his choices seems to be taken in, in a decline. It's in the past. And he's, it's like he's rendered, he's rendered like a, a kid again. A fool, new beginnings, new journeys, and a beginning of something new. It's like, yeah, so where you could make good decisions before, that's in the past. The current thing is now you're making bad decisions, walking right off the cliff. Your, your memory is not intact. You're starting to believe crazy stuff. You're saying crazy and doing crazy stuff. The hermit. It's going to be for all people to see. Everybody's going to see it. And then he's going to take a break. Almost like, you know, um, again, if he had like a stroke or something along those lines, he's going to have maybe some health incident, something progressive. It could be heart disease too, because heart disease would be progressive. But this is like also mental health, or maybe this is just as bad food choices around here. But it's going to lead to either Trump not being able to communicate or he gets out of the public eye for a while while he recovers. They'll say it's something like exhaustion. You know, he's been working so hard, he's exhausted, and he, you know, he basically, he starts babbling nonsense, and they're like, oh my God, you know, so they're like Mitch McConnell, they're gonna know there's a problem. And they have, they have to get him off the stage so not many people see what's going on. And they're just gonna say, you know, he's exhausted all the stress of these court cases, he just needs a break, he'll be back on the campaign trail soon enough out comes the ace of swords it's like uh, swords are about intellect and then you've got the wilting uh the wilting laurels here on the king um he's on a new intellectual path and i think the intelligence and the cunning that he had before, he might still have the cunning, but it, it's past, it's it's declining. This is the new normal for him. There's an intellectual decline and a new normal that's coming. They're gonna hide it though. They're gonna hide it, isn't that gonna be fun? Just in time for them to pick, uh... Just in time for them to pick a representative. Will, will Trump get the, uh, current with the current energies, will Trump get the uh, Republican uh, nomination to represent them, represent the Republican party for the 2024 presidential election? to see also let's see i was gonna ask if nikki haley was gonna still be in the race but who cares <laughs> she's awful she's awful 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 uh would she uh turn us into an authoritarian government i wouldn't necessarily say yes to that i think she would just be awful but um you know trump would no doubts in my mind about that. DeSantis would too. Will Trump be the Republican nominee under the current energy? 
Will he be the nominee to represent the Republicans in the presidential thing? Yep, absolutely. He's their man. He's their guy. I don't really need to throw more than that, but yes. We have the Three of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. That one showed up earlier in that. Um, yes, it is, but there's that underlying health issue, mental health issue underneath it. And now they need to start discussing their paths forward. But the thing is, I think what's, what's happening here is they need to... Yeah, he's their nomination. It's, it's agreed to on there. So we got a pair of threes going on here. You know, going forward with the election, uh, getting the campaigns funded. Trump here is happy he's got it. I think they want to get the money to other Republican candidates. Good luck getting that. But there's going to be that mental health issue that Trump has got going on uh, at that point. That maybe they're not fully aware. They may not be fully aware of what's gone on with him mentally. Uh, yeah, no, I see him getting it. I do see him getting it. But I think he's mentally compromised at that point. So they, they, they really, they're really going to put themselves in a pickle as far as that goes. And I'm okay with that. All right, we'll leave it here. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes and your shares and your comments and everything you do to help uh, build up this channel and get feed the algorithm and get it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel uh, today or recently, welcome. Glad you found us. Hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.